Good evening and welcome to The Point. I am your host, Nourish Nital, and my guests are Jacqueline Bryan from constituency number one, Kende Leibert, constituency number four, and Stachio Williams from constituency number five. Well, Five. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Did I say five? Yes, you're five. I'm just saying number five. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. Welcome. It's a family environment. So our light moments would be injected appropriately in clinical psychology. We refer to family therapy as one of the most effective. And I'm feeling very elated at the same time it is feeling therapeutic to be amongst family members. So guys, welcome. And uh, like I said, our guest here, Jacqueline Bryan from constituency number one. Kende Leibert from constituency number four. Yes, and four. Stasio Leibert. I mean, sorry, Stasio Williams from constituency <laughs> number Five. five guys welcome thank, thank you for having us it's a pleasure being here i think we are going to have one heck of a time here <laughs> this evening the temperature has gone up and as such we are directly proportional to the temperature within the overall environment that we are supposed to be performing in. so that would be manifested very much tonight and we're hoping that you have quite an enjoyable show with these young candidates. Now, Stasio, give us an introductory speech for about five minutes. Absolutely. Mr. Nital, thank you so much. It's great to be here on The Point tonight with my two colleagues, my little brother, <laughs> Kendale, <laughs> and my sister, yes, Jackie yes. Bryan. And to know, I know, tonight I know there's a, lot, a large number of persons from Sandy Point, Fig Tree and La Valley logging on tonight. And so those are the persons I want to speak directly to as the PLP representative constituency number five. You see, because as a community, we have very high expectations, Nital. And that is why I've always led from in front. All my years growing up, shaped by a community of Sandy Point, knowing where, we've heard it, SP, where the best is. We always strive to be the best at what we do. So in primary school, I would have been the captain of my athletic team, Red House. Likewise, in high school, the same, captain of my, my athletic team, the Red House. And so those early years, I learned how to lead from in front. I used to help lots of my peers in the community with their homework, especially maths. Nital, I know maths is something that you <laughs> <laughs> is a favorite of yours. <laughs> maths was my favorite subject. Mm. And so as a young boy, not even just the students around my age, but some parents as well. Adults who had aspirations of continuing education, etc. I would have helped those as well with their maths and accounts and other subjects. I would have been involved in local sporting programs, sponsoring programs up to recently. One of my most recent endeavors was the sponsorship of the Sandy Point Pride the basketball team. And we know what happened there. We went into a scabber and we dominated. And that came from sponsorship and support of myself to my organization, Open Interactive, and the support that we gave really helped those young men to win the league and finish undefeated from start all the way through. My involvement in the Boy Scouts group from a very early age as well, under the leadership of Clive Saunders. We all know Pastor Clive Saunders with the unique touch at church in Sandy Point. And I grew to the ranks of Scouts to the point where I was able to establish my own Scout group in the community of St. Paul's. And so there were many young boys there in, in the St. Paul's community who I would have led and teach them core values of scouting, be prepared, how to go about life, 
how to socialize and how to help your peers. I was also very instrumental as a founding member of the Spirit Group of Sandy Point. And let me talk a little bit about that because we would have heard about the popular spirit group, meaning Sandy Pointers, Sandy Pointers inspiring real improvement throughout. That's the acronym for spirit. And so with that community group, we would have led a number of initiative, creative ideas within the community that brought the people together. For the very first time in years after the Easter Rama activities would have gotten a bit low, Spirit Group came in and we brought on board the Black Sand Festival, community festival, and revived the community, not just in the cultural part of it, but we had educational programs. We had social programs, the persons come out on a Sunday afternoon as a family, like the Family Affair Carnival, those type of activities that I would have led along with my colleagues there in terms of community development and togetherness. And so all these things I would have done was all about supporting our community. I've also been involved in supporting our young people with their businesses and business ideas as well. I myself would have started my business journey when I was 19 years old as a young boy and I would have gathered quite a lot of experiences over the years that I'm now using to mentor young men and women in Sandy Point, the Fictory and La Valley area, my constituency, to start their own businesses and show them how to grow and thrive by utilizing certain skills and experiences that I've learned over the years. I'll talk a bit more that, about that later. But ultimately, like I said, Sandy Pointers, Fictory, La Valley, we have very high standards and very high expectations. And that is why I say, SP with the best be. That is why I would say that when I come forward to deliver and represent the people, I will never say that my hands are tied. People are fed up of hearing those type of things. People are fed up of lazy representation in our community. People are fed up because they know that things can be better. They remember a vibrant town where there was business activities booming in Sandy Point. Sandy Point was, in fact, the largest <coughs> and most vibrant town outside of Bastille. And the days when I grew up in Sandy Point, I saw that for myself. And I've also seen over the years how that have slowly gone down. My plan, my plan is to restore the pride of the people of Sandy Point. And together we can do it. It involves establishing the economics by way of setting up a business association, for example, for small businesses, small and medium businesses within the community. And this is going to help to create a stronger voice for our people. It's going to help to restore the days when people used to come into Sandy Point and shop. If you're in the neighboring communities, you don't have to go all the way into Bastia. There were large supermarkets, there were clothing stores, you know, craft vendors, you name it. Sandy Point was that destination in that western part of our island. And so I look forward to restoring the town to those days. I look forward also to protect our people. We have been having challenges from the pandemic, no doubt. It affected the whole country and the region, of course, the whole world. But part of protecting our people is to ensure that we can deal with things like the mental challenges that emerge, and we've seen some of it coming from the, the pandemic within our community. I don't want to be able to tackle those things head on by putting programs in place so that we can protect the most vulnerable among the members of our community and at large, our society. I want to be able to fight for the implementation of a hardship fund, a hardship fund so that when persons in our community face crises, they can depend on that fund. And that fund is gonna be a locally funded right, which has a council overseeing it to ensure that when persons apply to that fund for assistance, it is done equitably, fairly, and it is used in a way that can really help persons in times of these crisis and exceptional circumstances. I'm also going to be focusing a lot on job creation. To my enterprise and business endeavors, I would have employed lots of young persons from Sandy Point and across St. Kitts and Nevis, to be exact. As a matter of fact, 
my business is now employ in excess of 30 persons locally, regionally, and internationally. So there is that level of success. I know how to create job opportunities, and I want to use that experience to create job opportunities within the business enterprises that will be established in Sandy Point for our young people and other persons who would have businesses as well. We'd want to fight for, I would want to fight for the implementation of a food processing plant because we have to also invest in food security to agriculture and so on. And that also creates more employment for our people. And so I'll talk a bit more about that as, a later on as well. But it's really about having our local residents, not just the fishers, sorry, the farmers, but also the fishers as well, putting the facilities in place where they can play their trade so that they can provide food for our community in Sandy Point and also export to neighboring communities as well. We need to promote fig tree as a tourism destination and an entertainment hub. It's already showing signs of this. There's some bars there, people like Rum Dog Bar, who's down there doing good things in fig tree. Just imagine what that place could be like if there's a whole avenue of businesses right down there in that fig tree area, right? And pave the road, make it nice, and develop it so that the local persons within the community can own those and really advance and provide for their families by way of having these businesses. And so the choice is clear. If it is that you're looking to move Sandy Point, we're looking to move our community forward, it is important that we take that fresh approach that Stasio Williams is going to bring to the Sandy Point, Fig Tree, and La Valley. And so I present myself to you, my constituents of Sandy Point, Fig Tree, and La Valley, constituency number five, as the one clear choice to move us forward to that secure future. Thank you, Mr. Nital. I'm, I'm happy that you spoke like that because I've been in constant communication with quite a number of young Sandy Pointers, and they're embarking in an entrepreneurship and a common thread that they're echoing is that they would like to be a statue. So you have to maintain that image. You have to continue to provide them with guidance. And even when you think that they're not listening, they are listening. Okay, so I want to encourage you to continue to travel that path, continue that trajectory. You have quite a number of them looking up to you. And I would also like to echo the sentiments with respect to Bruce, because I understand the better part of the poker run the other day was down in Fig Tree. Absolutely. In the vicinity of Rum Dark Cafe. That's right. Congratulations, Bruce. You're living <laughs> up to it. Now, Kendall, I want you to speak for five minutes as well, but I want you to simultaneously invite people <coughs> to the constituency office opening. Thank you for having me on the point tonight. It's great to be here, to speak in, with you, my brother and sister, and Natal, and to all the listeners. Firstly, I'd like to say I'm honored to be the PLP candidate for constituency number four, and I wanted to start this evening off by inviting everyone out to our campaign office, which will be opening tomorrow at 6 p.m., so come on out, wear your orange, walk with your whistles, walk with your bells, and let's come on out and make some noise. You know, I am here as the candidate for PLP, for PLP for constituency number four, where I spent all my life. I was born there, I went to school there, I lived there, and I know the people there. And the people there, they know me. And as you can see, I am very passionate, and I am willing to work day in and day out for my people of constituency number four, which is why I am here today, and I pledge to all of my constituents of number four that Kendall Kashim Daria Laibad will definitely work and work to restore number four. Because we've all seen how the representation have left us behind. And I am here and I've stepped up and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to definitely restore a secure future for the people of number four. And it's about time that we put these people first. And that is a plan that I have to restore number four by putting our people first, by providing more jobs, building more homes, 
protecting our economy and delivering a safer future for our people of number four. So again, I want to invite people out tomorrow. Come on out and, and support the opening of our office. And this is the kind of leadership that we want. This is, will be the first constituency office that will be opening from our new candidates. And as you can see, I am putting you first, the people of number four. And I am here and I am willing to do whatever it takes to represent and put my people first. We need more homes, we need better roads, we need to develop the sporting complex, you know, Samuel and Williams, the Halfridge Sporting Complex, the roads in Challengers, Middle Island Project, Green Acres in Halfridge. These are some concerns that we've been getting with while moving around. And I definitely would be working to, to solve these problems whenever I take office, because I will take office. And I definitely know that I will win the hearts of the people in constituency number four, because I am here and I will deliver on my plan for the people of number four. You mentioned something that resonated with me. Mm -hmm. You say you lived there. Mm -hmm. You are living there <laughs> and you will continue to live there. Correct. Correct. And you see that is important because if you don't live it, you can't fix you it. Can fix it. You can make adjustments to it. <laughs> and even when the correct material isn't there and you have to improvise, Correct. you know what the improvisation would bring with respect to impact and who it could impact. Mm. And you see, some people want to be involved from a head perspective, yeah. meaning it is convenient for them to be involved. Mm -hmm. But you're doing it from your heart. As a matter of fact, you have got good mental acuity. So the hybridization of both heart and head, there is no better combination to represent your people from heart and head as opposed to conveniently doing it from your head. Okay, and you're just the ideal person to do that because you live there. You are living there and it is your intention to continue to live there. Who can do it better than you? The most ideal. I will refer to you as the ideal person Correct. for number four. Number four. Okay, good. Restore. Right. Restore. <laughs> to restore. To restore. Not parts of number four, but to, to restore, restore number, number four. four. The entire the number entire four. The entire number four. Good one. Challengers, Oru, Midland, Lamberts, Kanye, Virgils, New Guinea, Halfridge, Gardinga, definitely will be restoring number four. I realize when you listed those various villages, mm -hmm. your voice changed mm -hmm. because it was not from your head, it was from your heart. Correct. It takes quite a lot to recognize that a hat is speaking. And I think as a forensic psychologist, I just detected that the last breath that you echoed came from your heart. And continue having it like that. Keep that trajectory. And you're going to go places. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Jacqueline Bryan. Yes, sir. The lady <laughs> from the East. Home of champions. <laughs> Many persons have started to label you as a potential Margaret Thatcher <laughs> or Eugenia Charles, Iron Lady. And I think you have a lot to offer. Introduce yourself for five minutes. Thank you so much, Mr. Nita. Thank you for having me here. And it's so good being here with my brothers, Kendale and Stachio. Absolutely. Yes, Thanks. it's an exciting time, guys. <laughs> and I am excited to present myself as the People's Labour Party candidate for constituency number one, hailing from East Bastyr, the home of champions. Mm -hmm. And I think that's always important for us to remember. We have a very, very proud history in East Bastyr, and we will continue to be a proud people. So a pleasant good night to everyone from the right side of 4th Street, this is, all the way back to the Southeast Peninsula. So Bastyr, Taylors, we have Ponds Extension, Ponds Pasture, Bird Rock, Frigate Bay, everybody in East Bastia. And I am happy to say that I am presenting myself to you to represent you at the highest level of service in this country. I've always been committed to serving others, serving my community, and serving my country. I've always believed in each one helping one. Right. Because if we all helped each other, we could go places working as a team, even at work. I always say, teamwork, guys. Teamwork. <laughs> you think I'm overly enthusiastic. <laughs> but that has always been my approach. We need to help build each other. Right. And that's the only way we can really build our country and get it to where we want to go. Right. So I'm 
speaking to you to ask for your support because I'm here to work to build a better East Bastia. And some of the things I will be presenting to you as part of my plan include fixing the roads, we need better roads, trying to find housing solutions, mm -hmm. ensuring that education is a priority because I feel that one of the best ways to assist families rise above their situations in to ensure that our children are successful. I'm here to talk to you about finding better, improving the health care offered in East Bastyr. I believe we have a very good system in place already, but there are always ways to improve it. I'm here to talk to you about improving the way we assist families who are caring for seniors and even seniors who may not have families to care for them. We need to look for everyone from the babies go right up to the seniors. I'm here to talk to you about assisting entrepreneurs. We've heard a lot of talk about entrepreneurs, but there are so many entrepreneurs in East Bastia. <laughs> Mr. Nital, do you know how much economic activity happens in East Bastia? East Bastia is buzzing with businesses, and I'm quite proud to say that. You need to take a walk through those small villages. You'll be surprised to know how many businesses operate in East Bastia. As a matter of fact, maybe one day we should try to do a census just to get an idea of how many businesses operate in East Bastia. And so I'm committed to finding ways to support those small businesses because they provide an important service to their own little areas. It was just today I was at a business place on the Bay Road and I asked the operator, how long have you been here? And he told me 16 years, hmm. 16 years. And we have businesses in East Bastia that have been operating for generations. I'm talking about handing it down to uh, their child and then the grandchildren come and take it over. Mm -hmm. So we have so many things to be proud of, mm -hmm. from sports to business to achievements in other areas. And I'm quite happy to be here to ask the people of East Basque mm -hmm. for their support. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. Was well, I not sufficiently expressive? <laughs> to convey my feeling as to how I feel about you doing your introduction. <laughs> I am really experiencing the warmth and I'm uh, experiencing the camaraderie that exists here amongst your three. We now have to go into some tough questions. And we'll start out with Kendale. What does constituency four mean to you? Constituency number four, it's my home. They are my family. I've li lived there with them all my life. And no other candidate can say that. It's where I grew up and where I am going, my family. I've been there all my life. I've walked the roads. I've driven the roads. I've played with the local teams. I organized the local leagues, football leagues. I taught mathematics in the Old Road Community Center. I first started at the Virtuals High School after completing my undergrad studies and did my bachelor's in mathematics. So I've been there. I know what they need. In order to fix the problem, you have to live the problem. <coughs> you have to live the issues. So constituency number four for me is family. And I am putting my heart and I'm giving my heart to the people of constituency number four. And as somebody in the field of mathematics, Maybe you might have to involve some calculus sure. to do some derivative and integration to get mm -hmm. yourself from among some curves Correct. and come on the straight and narrow Correct. with the guys. Correct. Not about integration and derivatives, derivatives. right? So, and <laughs> we can do it graphically as well. Mm -hmm. Something we can take a bird's eye view from on our community and apply mathematical applications. And don't forget the statistics. statistics. You got to do some statistical analysis yeah. and do your comparative analysis and see who more in need of help Correct. than others. So it seems as if it's a table of mathematicians. Yes, you're right. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's your second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Give me words. Give me words. Right. Yes. Word and problems, you can get them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, Kendall, another question for you before we move on to someone else. During your life, you have enrolled in several educational institutions mm -hmm. and were successful. Mm -hmm. 
what that means for yourself and your community. Firstly, for my family, I, I was one of the first who gone to whoever actually go to university for my mom kids, one of eight. You know, we come from humble beginnings, we come from humble background. So I pulled myself together and I, I worked hard. I worked hard to get to where I am and I am passionate about education, which is why I am pushing for the education systems in our constituency number four to be improved so we can offer these same opportunities to the young boys and the young girls of our constituency and across St. Kitts and Nevis. No, you're, you're correct because many persons do not get the opportunity. Correct. And there is a major differentiation between being intelligent and being knowledgeable. Yeah. Obviously, you're an intelligent guy and you went further afield to build on your knowledge mm -hmm. and a combination of intelligence and knowledge cause it to be more effective in your community. Correct. But that key term is opportunity. opportunities. You'll be surprised that you ask some of those guys on the road mm -hmm. a mathematical problem, mm -hmm. and they do it in their own creative way that textbooks are yet <laughs> to integrate <laughs> into their teaching. Yes, right. And right. that is key. You must try to present them with opportunities. Mm -hmm. Okay? I would like to encourage you along that path. Sashio. Yes, you sir. say you've been, you have always led from the front. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about this leading from the front? You know, something they say the good shepherd lead from behind. <laughs> Why shepherds are always behind them? <laughs> because the sheep try to run ahead of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, not me. I am a leader who leads from the front. Right. I am the guy who goes up on the hill, mm -hmm. take the arrows, mm -hmm. tough it out, mm -hmm. and come back. Mm -hmm. A lead from in front. I take the risk. My life has been about enterprise and development, pioneering. When I began SKN Vibes back in 2001, around there, there was nothing like it existed. The very idea that you can create something online when nothing existed, when there were no websites, when there was no social media, right? That is an example of leading from in front. Right. The entire community, St. Kitts and Nevis, and especially in my own constituency, Sandy Point, the Valley Fig Tree, have benefited tremendously from that innovative platform that led the way for what we see now today as news and media and technology online. Right? So that is an example of how leading from in front works. With my second enterprise, Open Interactive, being the first again to lead in terms of high quality content production, in terms of uh, copywriting, branding, even the very essence of a lot of the things we see even throughout the campaign and over the years has come from that quality standard of production that came from my entity, Open Interactive. So my name, Stachio Williams, has been associated with pioneering exercises, innovation, technology, and setting a very high standard that people now emulate within our community. That is how I leave from in front. And so those experiences are what I'm using now to also lead from in front. I would give you an example. Just Sunday on Father's Day, I was at a, a Father's Day um, community event that was organized by the Young Fathers Association. I was a keynote speaker there. And I invited all the fathers who were being honored, another father's dear, to come forward and stand for our community. There were other members of the other um, political parties there. I was the one who invited them on stage to stand with me, right? To stand as fathers in our community so that we can show how we lead from in front. And that is what you do. You Take leadership where there's opportunities to do so. You don't wait for somebody else to step in. When you see a problem, you fix it. When you see an opportunity to help someone, you do it. You don't wait for someone to say, well, you ain't see that happening. No. Leadership is about showing up at home, showing up in your family, showing up for your community. And my whole life has been a track record 
of doing exactly that. And which is why I will be the one to deliver that secure future for my people of number five, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and realize when you spoke about constituency number five, you said SP, we the best SP. <laughs> and then, like a little afterthought, you hear Fichi and the Valley. I am challenging you because in the throughout the years there would have been differentials. I am challenging you to create that little federation of Sandy Point, Fig Tree. I want to correct you, Nita. And the Valley. Right. I'm sad. I, I want to correct you. Some they make statements as a comment. Fig and the Valley never an afterthought. Uh -huh. Never ever an afterthought. Fig Tree and the Valley are all part of constituency number five. And I represent them all. When I, say, when I say SP where the best be, we say it because all of us in our hearts know that it encompasses the whole of Sandy Point, Fig Tree, La Valley, and we are truly the best. And the time will show when the election comes yes. what the people of Sandy Point, Fig Tree, La Valley would do in supporting myself and to show to the whole of St. Kitts and Nevis why we are the best. And we will lead by example. I'm already sensing it. And all I'm hoping for is for it to intensify. Absolutely. I want to congratulate <laughs> you in advance. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Jacqueline Bryan, the lioness, the second lioness, the photo killer is that. And I show we that we do not mind having a second one. People might know you from your experience in the media. What made you choose to get involved in the science of government that we contract to the world politics? Well, Mr. Mendental, I've always been drawn to service. And at different points in my life, I've been drawn to service at different levels. I've always been involved in one group or the other. I started off with the Seventh-day Adventist Pathfinders. I was a part of the St. Kitts and Nevis National Youth Parliament Association, affectionately called SCANIPA. And I've been a volunteer with the St. Kitts and the Nevis Sea Turtle Monitoring Network. And all of these different groups have molded me in some way, shape, or form, and have allowed me to participate in community work and nation building in different ways. So with the Youth Parliament Association, for example, I've been able to participate in several mock parliament sittings, drafting mock legislation and resolutions, debating them, learning about parliamentary procedure and protocol, because I've always been interested in that area. And I've always been interested in serving others and doing what I can as an upstanding citizen. I went off to study. I studied at the Caribbean School of Communications, also known as CARIMAC, at the University of the West Indies Mona campus. I did an undergraduate diploma in communication, specializing in broadcasting. And I went on to pursue a double major bachelor's degree in international relations and management of business. And in international relations, we also covered political subject courses. And I found that very interesting. So that background coupled with my drive to serve, in addition to the fact that I grew up around politics, because a lot of people know my father, St. Clair Bryan, also known as Bractus, who has always been very active in the political arena. And I've just always been surrounded by that kind of atmosphere. So I think everything has come together to prepare me for this moment. And I was happy when I was offered the opportunity. And I think when it came my way, especially given the leadership roles I held at UWE when I served on student government, on the campus, I felt a sense of pride being able to stand up for others and promote their thoughts, concerns, fight for their inclusion, fight to make sure that they were respected and represented. Coming back home, I was still driven to be involved. And I think that I have in some way maybe been preparing for this moment all my life. Maybe it's just how it was meant to be. Maybe it's destiny, Mr. Nital. 
that I am here today. Maybe I didn't choose politics, Mr. Nita, but politics chose me Correct. in a way. Correct. It is said in philosophy that our lives are predetermined, predestined. Wherever we are, that is where we're supposed to be. So you're always on your way here. I can imagine both of you being parliamentarians and you having a little issue with um, Sashio <laughs> because you spoke about the sea turtles and you also get involved in trying to preserve them. I know that Beltet is an area where we do sand mining. Hmm. Beltet is the only naturally accreting beach we have in our federation. So as a result of that, when people build in homes, they go to Beltet and they buy the, the sand, the, the best sand. One thing I just never liked is that they sold it for only $5 per cubic yard. And we have to strike a balance. People used to make noise that you cannot continually go down there for the sand because you're disturbing the nesting site of the sea turtles. So that is why I'm saying that you might have a conversation or two with um, Sashio because it is his intention to develop down there in that area where Bruce and those guys be around That's around right. around the what do you also call it? Around the hole. Around the hole, right? <laughs> yeah, you very delicate equilibrium to establish around there. Do you preserve the nesting site for the turtles or do you allow people to get sand to build their homes? So you would call for a very private conversation. We call it a tete a tete, mean head to head, one on one. When you are reaching Parliament, I can imagine a conversation like this taking place. Well, Could we take a... Sorry, go ahead. Well, they're going to be very harmonious conversations, <laughs> you know, because, I mean, you know, it, it, we don't easily watch people try to take the sand out of Sandy Point. You know, Sandy Point, that same area you mentioned. Right, the, the name Sandy Point really mm -hmm. came from the way that the sand was jutting out at that point mm -hmm. right there. That is how it became known as Sandy Point. Mm -hmm. But certainly, my colleague and I will have conversations about how we strike the best balance in the interests of our country, our marine resources, and ultimately, our community. And I'm going to develop in fast. That's fine. We we'll strike that balance fast. to ensure <laughs> okay. we preserve all aspects Very delicate to of the on, ecosystem. And it would be nice. Yes. Thank you so much. Are we entitled to a clip? Will we take a break and get that clip? Yeah. Yeah, I went here. to school here, I teach here, and I choose to raise my family here. Me, a Doreen Leibold's son, put a screen in the high school bar rooms. I come from humble beginnings too, like many of you in number four. I know, I know what it is like to struggle. It is that struggle. That journey that brought me here tonight. So I pledge to you, my people, that I will take action for our home, for our community that raised me. I want to empower the little boys and little girls to manifest their dreams, just like I am doing here tonight. Because it is important for us to give Sandy Point the best chance to develop and to advance. Oh, yeah. Let us give Sandy Point and the people of Sandy Point the best chance to have a representative that will work for you, that will show up to work, that will show up in cabinet and be working for the people every day. Let us give Sandy Point and Sandy Pointers and Fictory and Valley the best chance to have a representative in government. Let us give Sandy Point that safe and secure future, the strong local economy and protection for people with more jobs. I am saying to you, Sandy Point, let us give Sandy Point Stasio Williams! Who got confidence in a homage? Remove the mountain to ensure poor people's progress. Yes, they broke their promise. So it's like I told you when I first started, friends, leadership matters. That is why I am proud to be a part of this team. So I look forward to continue the engagement I have started with you in constituency number one on the campaign trail. Please give me the opportunity to be your local champion. It would truly be an honor. And I urge all the people of constituency number one to join our campaign. So the choice for this election in constituency number one is clear. Vote for me, Jacqueline Bryan, the PLP candidate for a secure future in constituency number one.
warriors from the east let's win this election and deliver a secure future in constituency number one and the entire federation so let them know that Jacqueline and Dissau is who we voting for Welcome back to The Point with um, Stasio, Jacqueline, and Kendall. Now, Kendall, you're active in your local community. For example, you teach maths to students, organize several community initiatives. What was your motivation and what continues to motivate you? I always wanted to give back to my community, to my constituency. I've achieved a lot at this point in time, and it was my duty, my obligation to give back to the people in my constituency, especially the younger ones coming up, to help them to manifest their dreams, because that will be missing, someone who has been there, and someone who tried to be there for the younger people. I did not have that, and I want to make sure that each child coming up have that and that type of representation, a type of representative who would be there for them and try to give back and try to assist as much as possible. And that is my motivation. Some areas of your constituency have lagged behind, unfortunately. As the elected parliamentary representative, what are some of the areas the constituency will benefit from your leadership. One, I'll be the representative which represents all of my communities, all of the villages, all of the schools, you know, the sporting complex, the, the, the housing issues. These are some issues that we definitely have to look at. The roads in Challengers, the roads in Middle Island Project, the roads in Half Ritchie Green Acres. These are some issues that I definitely will be looking into and the people of constituency number four can hold me towards you know, providing more homes. You know, I am committed to building homes in our constituency so we can have more jobs, protecting our kids in our constituency. You know, and sports is a vessel that we can use right. to provide opportunities for the young boys and the young girls coming up. Excellent. One more question for you. Sure. <clears throat> Estudio Español en Universidad, pero necesito práctica más. It is my understanding mm -hmm. that you speak several languages. Is this true? Yes. You know, um, being in university, playing football, we had to, to incorporate with a lot of different nationalities, and one must have to understand what the other nationalities are sp saying, especially if you are playing football and you don't want the opponents to know what you are saying. You know, so I forced myself to try and learn as much languages as possible. I tried to learn some Swahili, some Wolof, in some Spanish, and you know, I've been to Taiwan for two years, so I speak a bit of Mandarin as well. You know, and I definitely would like to, to, to say each one in how to restore number four. So, in Wolof, you would say, Nenge de lo number four, <laughs> and then in Chinese, it's Rang woman wai fu si, you know. So, and then I think in Spanish, it's Vamos a restaurar cuatro, something like that. So. <laughs> you left out one thing. How do, do you say grand in um in Sahili as well? Wrong man? Wrong man? Wrong man. Wrong. Wrong man. Wrong man. We still. Wrong man. Wrong man. Wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, please remember when we provide the opportunity, wrong. Wrong. your number that you can get me at is seven six seven nine six eight four. Okay? Seven six seven nine six eight four. In the interim, we have some questions for Stachio. Uh You set up two businesses. Yes. How do you think you can translate this experience to being constituency number five representative? Right. I'm happy you asked that question, Nita. <laughs> I'm really passionate about business, the business enterprises I've established. And I'm also very passionate about helping young businessmen and women, and businessmen and women of all ages, in fact, to grow and thrive with their businesses. 
We have a call. Sure? Yes. We take a call. Good evening. Welcome to The Point. Yes. Good night. Good night. I want to ask the TLP leaders a question. How come I can't get over and think it? Okay, continue. That's your question? I need a walk. Okay, we will have heard you. We'll make room for other questions and then the candidates themselves would adjust. I just come in at the age of the nonsense every day. Okay. You're free to do that. I, 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 I don't talk about poor people. Them. Poor people hungry. Why don't they have some money instead of coming from way to contact to be it? Okay. You're through with your concern. Okay, we'll give that. You respond to that in due <laughs> course. But Sasha, you may continue once we do not have any other call. We have a next call. Good evening. Welcome to the point. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the point. If you are. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good, good night. night. Hello. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. We are, we are hearing you. Miss Jacqueline. Miss Jacqueline, you're the only one I know. After coming on leadership matter with the Prime Minister. Now, now the point. I just want to wish you all the best. Stay strong. And please keep your phone on if people want to get, get at you. That's the mo major part of your constituency. Please and please when anybody coming on with them foolishness because they never used to tell nobody that before. Cut them off. See you. Have a good night. Okay. Let me tell you too. Okay, thanks much, Jacqueline. If you do not have a next call, we'll ask Sasha to continue his on his trajectory of response. You go ahead, but occasionally we will have to break to take calls. That's so whenever he signals to me, I'll do that and we yes. facilitate the call. That's that's understandable. I mean yes. we're here to take calls from the public. Mm -hmm. And we're very happy when calls come in, actually, so we can uh, address any concerns, any questions that people would have. But as I was saying earlier, that because of the business enterprises I've been into and because of my passion for helping and fostering business activity within our community. Do we another call again? Yes, yes we are. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Good evening. Welcome to The Point. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I just want good evening. Good evening. Yeah. I just want to congratulate those three new candidates on their new role and to wish them all the best and to let my fellow sit at home, Mr. Ken De Lyman, call him Kenny. Don't let Sasha out show him about Sandy Point. <laughs> Remember all what is the first town in Saint Correct, correct. And we have lots of history there. And I know if you get elected as a young man, I could see you bringing back many things in all world, especially the whole constituency of number four. But what I would like to ask you, Mr. Tender, um, you have journeyed from Challengers down to New Guinea. And you must have heard lots of cries, complaints, and suggestions. With those in mind, how do you plan to fix those problems or correct those problems once elected into parliament? Jackie, my good friend, you know, I have the back. I was with Mr. Bell. Mr. Stasio, I know you're from Etienne and Vice that I used to, you know, <laughs> try to copy you as a media, you know, and I know you, uh, you have done good work and you will continue to do good work for the people of a sandy point and fixing. This is Bucky Alex and Bucky Alex over and out. Over and out. Thank you, Bucky. Do we have thank you, Bucky? <laughs> could you could you continue? Sometimes you have to dip in dip and dip out, out and then reconnect. Well I'll 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 pick up where where Bucky left off here eh, because he <laughs> he said that he used to 
copy me and I believe there is an example, right? Good evening. Welcome to The Point. Good evening. 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 Can you hear us? Yes, I want to... Are you hearing me? We're getting a little feedback. If you can move away from the device that you're listening to. Okay, to I move away. Um, yeah, good evening. Resolution, yeah, very much improved. Yeah, you can hear me now? Yes, very clearly, pellucidly clear. Yes. yes, I want to commend the three candidates for putting up themselves at this point in time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And I want to wish them all the very best. Thank you. I want to say to my good friend, Tasha Williams, I'm to continue the good fight. And I want him to explain to the world, explain to the world what he will do, given the opportunity to serve the people of Sandy Point, Victory and Low Valley. Absolutely. Thank you. I was that, is my, uh, that is my um, question. Okay, give him a chance to take note, and then he will get back to you, along yes. with a few that you would have had already. So you can maybe hang up and listen off the air. Hello? Okay, Sasha. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it on and I'll continue. Thank you very much, my good friend, for calling in and for the encouragement. And yes, I am going to speak about um, in more detail our plans, my plans for advancing our community and our constituency, Sandy Point, Fig Tree and La Valley. But I was speaking about the point about business, the question that Nital asked earlier, how can I utilize my experience and the successes within SK and Vibes and my other business, Open Interactive, to replicate that in, in Sandy Point, in our constituency? And so I'm passionate about business. And I've already started. In fact, uh, I, I was picking up from where Bucky left off with his inspiration. And he said he copied me, SK Vibes. I'm flattered by that, you know, because I have in, in truth been uh, an example for many young persons to know that they can. Growing up in back, the back way, Sandy Point, from very humble circumstances, and being able to educate myself to the schools and work within the community and the support systems there and be able to establish a business that now gone international, regional, and has been admired by so many and has served our community so well. The thing is, it's an example to show that we can do it in Sandy Point and why we're the best. And so by implementing the business incubator programs I, sp I spoke about, by setting up and fostering and encouraging the Small Business Association, right? Which would help to attract more businesses by setting up an investment program within Sandy Point and Fig Tree and the Valley, our community, to attract investment into our community. This all working together is going to allow our young businessmen and women to thrive because they'll be now supported by a thriving environment where business and business activity is principal and staple within our community, as it once was. There are many business titans that we have in Sandy Point. Good evening. Welcome to The Point with the young and vibrant candidates of PLP. Hello. Hi, good night. Good night. Thank uh, you for taking my call. Thanks much. Um, I just want to say to the candidates there how impressed I am of all of you. I watched the launch in a couple of nights ago, and I know some of you. Sasha, um, now I understand why you haven't returned my calls recently. You've been too busy. Um, we did business over 20 years ago when you set up my website for me, for my company. This is Tessa And Howell, you've always friend. expressed me. Um, as a very um, capable young man who does, who does things with a lot of pride 
and honesty. Uh, Jacqueline, wow, 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 wow. I'm so proud to see you, girl. Uh, you are doing the women of the Federation really, you're making us feel really, really proud. I've known you two for a while. Yes. I've, I've worked in a business, um, on a business level with you. Um, you've always been very professional, how you purported yourself. And I'm looking forward to seeing some wonderful leadership qualities coming out. The other young man, I don't know you, but you purported yourself very well um, the other night um, at, when you introduced yourself to the Federation. What I would like to say to all of you is to be strong. I mean, certainly you didn't take on this job thinking it was going to be a piece of cake. And in these very, very tough times, um, sometimes when I hear some of the comments, I want to scream and say, give the people a chance. These are new people coming. We have a tendency to want to um, put over your head all the things that didn't happen from before. Be strong. Stay focused. Stay on your game. Know what you want. And mm -hmm. it will work out. I am personally hoping that I see my dream come true. I want to see a clean sweep and have all new candidates in government at the end of this. That's my dream. And um, the group that I saw um, a couple of nights ago uh, for the PLP, uh, you guys did a really awesome job. Really. Um, for young people, I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. And um, keep doing well. Thank this you. country is Thank you. full Thank you. of potential and possibilities. Yes. And you are now taking it on as your responsibility to make those possibilities happen and bring us back to where we used to be. Thank you so much for the decisions you've made. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you so much. This is my wow. friend, Rob. I recognize your voice. <laughs> yes. Tessa Thank Howell. you. Thank you so, so much for calling Too in. Too kind. Do Thank you. you. That means a lot to us. And to all the other callers who have called in and congratulated us, that means a lot to us. We, we really appreciate the encouragement and the support. I know that there have been many calls for younger people to get involved in politics. And so I think it's a very progressive step to see a, such a young team stepping forward, given some of the... Good evening. Welcome the to The Point. <laughs> Hello, the good evening. Victory is part of Sandy Point. Just want to make a note that victory is part of Sandy Point. Victory is not separated. Victory is not separated from Sandy Point. Thank you. It was a light moment just for Stasio mm -hmm. to put the emphasis on that because some people of that mindset and I really congratulate him for making the record straight. We are not saying it was not, it was just to evoke an answer from him to put many persons who think differently in, on, in line, okay? And thank you so Good much. Good evening, welcome to The Point. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Could you, could you move away from the device that you're listening to so that we can get more, uh, really better resolution? Can we okay, can hear you me better now? Yes, much better. I would like to say congratulations to them. They're doing such a great job on the show tonight. Yes. And also the point that the person made about employment, they really need to understand that employment doesn't solely base on the government alone to find jobs for everyone. And as citizens, we have to understand we have to invest in ourselves and we have to also create opportunities for ourselves. The government is not the only one that is allowed or can be limited to finding work and employment for us. Yes. And good night. Yeah, thank you very much. Some persons would have to understand too that they have to better equip themselves so that they become more marketable. But that is a next story. Now, um, Jacqueline, we would have had three prime ministers. 
And I consistently say that the Honorable Timothy Sylvester Harris is the best we would have ever had. And I prefer him, I prefer him any day. I prefer him any day, even in a wheelchair, than the others on Thoroughbred Horse. What made you choose PLP? Well, thank you so much for that question, Mr. Nittau. And I want to thank all the callers who have congratulated us again. Your words of encouragement are really, really helpful in keeping us motivated. I believe, Mr. Nittau, in good governance, and I believe in the proper management of the state, society, and its resources, not just for a select few, but for everybody. So we're talking about the protection of the interest of all people, regardless of your socioeconomic background, regardless of the party you support, regardless of your race, gender. And I believe that we need to manage things for the country on a whole. And so I believe in transparency and holding myself accountable to the people at all times. And that at this current time, strong leadership matters. And I believe that the People's Labour Party under the leadership of Dr. Timothy Harris can present all of those things, managing the resources of the country well, ensuring that all people are taken care of and given opportunities and that they feel included and to hold ourselves accountable to those we have asked to vote for us and give us their support and to make sure that we are answerable to them at all times. And so the People's Labour Party has provided that space within which I can step up to the plate and offer myself for service to the people. And you know, the sun rises in the east and it would have to take a while before Stachio down in the west can be seen as SP really the best. Without that sun coming out of the east, the west would not get a chance. But little, what is more beautiful, <laughs> the sunrise or the sunset? Sunrise. No. Sasha, are you trying to get competitive? <laughs> <laughs> Come what, on. <laughs> what, 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 what is the message you will be taking to the people in constituency one, better known as the Sunrise constituency? I will dub it that for tonight, the Sunrise constituency. In your campaign. Are you okay with that, Stasha? You... I'm fine. <laughs> so we, are, we are colleagues, you know. We all share the sun, you know. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> it shines on all of us once it's, it has gone up. But I will continue to say to, to the people of constituency number one that I will never forget that I am accountable to them. And I am accountable to all residents of constituency number one. Already I'm hearing that some areas of the of East Bastyr say that they don't feel like they've gotten the attention they deserve. And I'm saying I'm here for all communities that comprise constituency number one, from Taylor's Range to Pond's Pasture, Bastyr to the Southeast Peninsula. And I think that's very important that I'm running an inclusive campaign that will make everyone feel like they have a role to play, that they're an important part of what is happening, that their concerns mm -hmm. and their needs are an important part of my mandate. So when I speak, they can hear and see themselves in the message that I am delivering. And so this is a part of what I want the people of constituency number one to know. It is so nice that we can be so passionate about our individual <laughs> constituency, but at the same time have that common denominator that we work in unison, given the chance to do that, to make everybody comfortable, happy, and live up to their expectations. Now, could we take that break and facilitate the clips for Stasio, please? Because it is important for us to give Sandy Point the best chance to develop and to advance. Oh, yeah! Let us give Sandy Point and the people of Sandy Point the best chance to have a representative that work for you, that will show up to work, that will show up in cabinet and be working for the people every day. Let us give Sandy Point and Sandy Pointers and Fictional Valley 
the best chance to have a representative in government. Let us give Sandy Point that safe and secure future, the strong local economy, and protection for our people with more jobs. I am saying to you, Sandy Point, let us give Sandy Point Stasio Williams! Hold that confidence in the orange. We're moving mountain to ensure poor people's progress. Yes, they broke the promise. So it's like I told you when I first started, friends, leadership matters. That is why I am proud to be a part of this team. So I look forward to continue the engagement I have started with you in constituency number one on the campaign trail. Please give me the opportunity to be your local champion. It would truly be an honor. And I urge all the people of constituency number one to join our campaign. So the choice for this election in constituency number one is clear. Vote for me, Jacqueline Bryan, the PLP candidate for a secure future in constituency number one. Warriors from the East, let's win this election and deliver a secure future in constituency number one and the entire federation. So let them know that Jacqueline and saw is who we voting for. I went to school here, I teach here, and I choose to raise my family here. Me, a Doreen Leibold son, who just cleaned the high school bar rooms. I come from humble beginnings too, like many of you in number four. I know, I know what it is like to struggle. It is that struggle. That journey that brought me here tonight. So I pledge to you, my people, that I will take action for our home, for our community that raised me. I want to empower the little boys and little girls to manifest their dreams, just like I am doing here tonight. Welcome back to The Point and these vibrant candidates of PLP. No, Stasio. Yes. How how you find the reaction to your speech, the dynamic speech that you delivered on Greenland's pasture? It has been an overwhelming positive feedback and sentiment that came in from all corners of the globe, but in particular in Sandy Point, my constituency, Sandy Point. People have met me since. People have called me. People have sent me messages and said, Stasio, you have really represented in the true spirit and essence of how Sandy Pointers would do it. We are all proud of you. You made us feel so good to know that we are truly from SP. And we can see that you are, in fact, the representative that we deserve. They said to me, Nita, that from my presentation, the plans that they've heard, the programs that I speak about implementing, made them feel proud because they know that those things are missing in Sandy Point. They can see that from the energy I projected on stage, that they will have a representative who will show up to work every day and fight for their representation and fight to implement these things to ensure that Sandy Point can advance as a community. They have said to me that they feel good knowing that I am that humble person who can represent them. And so these are the feedback and sentiment I got. Your attendance will be high. And if inevitably you cannot attend cabinet, you supply or furnish your medical report to indicate that you're too sick to attend. Absolutely. It's about respect. It's about respect for your the portfolio, mm -hmm. for your office. Respect for your government. <clears throat> Good evening. Welcome to the point. Hello. 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 Yes. Hi. Good night. Calling from the Yes. We are hearing you. Okay. Good night, Mr. Nital. Hi. Good night. How are you doing? Good night. Good night. I'm very good. I want to say good night to you. To the three, it's the three candidates you have there: Mr. Leibold, Mr. Williams, and Mrs. Jacqueline Brand. Thank you. Good night. Yes. Good night. Good night. 
Right. I want to commend all three of them. I sat at home. I was unable to have got to attend the lawn. And I listened intensively to each speaker speak. And I want to commend all three for the way in which they delivered. Um, it shows that they, uh, they, they actually have a plan for the consequences they are representing. But I want to especially recognize um, Ms. Brand because it's one of the first time in the history of thinking that a political party is putting two women um, to run. And um, I believe that it's not yeah. just because sometimes people put women to run in seats that they don't believe they can win. But I actually believe that based upon the, the history of Miss Brand <laughs> within the constituency, constituency number one, that she will definitely be one to watch when the elections are called. And so I want to commend her, I want to commend um, Senator, I mean, Minister Sheila Byron Nisbet for, for also for the deputy leader, you know, for two women. That's very important because we need more women. In, in the spaces of government, in the hearts of government. But I also too want to recognize Mr. Libor because this is the first that candidate is actually running from number four. Since 2015, he's actually from number four. And that is very important. He spoke with passion. You could hear that he was concerned about his community. Correct. You could gather that he cares about his community. You could gather that he was not just telling you um, what he thought he wanted, yes. but he has lived it. Yes. That is very critical in politics. Yes. Um, Mr. Williams is going up in number five. You. <clears throat> Hello, caller. You would have faded a little bit. Could you reposition yourself so the resolution can be improved? Hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear me now? Much better. Yes. yes. You were saying about number five? Right. Right. I'm saying that Mr. Williams, I believe, will will surprise us because that constituency, when you look at the the voters list in um, constituency number five, it is not it's a constituency that the former deputy prime minister only won by roughly four hundred and something votes but there's about 4,000-something, 5,000 5, voters on that list. So it means that people within the constituency, they're not actually voting. And so they, they feel that they are fed up and they want a new option. And I believe Mr. Williams will do that new option. In um, Sandwich Point, Black Valley. Absolutely. Thank you. Johnson. I feel it. Okay, we, we appreciate the call, but you would have faded for the past nine seconds, so we would not have gotten that part, but we get the gist, the sum and substance of what you were saying. We have a next caller. Good evening. Welcome to The Point. Hello. Good night. Good night. Good night. Greetings. Good night. Greetings. Bless the love and joy. How are you all night, this guy? So far, so good. Pretty Wonderful. well. Thank Wonderful. you so much for asking. Thank you. Thanks. Well, we give thanks, and I hope that you all have a good program setting with you all. Dialogue for the people of Sengis and Nivet. I would just like to ask something there, basically. The chief of you all as, as young, upcoming as fire politicians and looking to buy for areas that is could comply within the moment of candidate see how we're seeing things are playing out now. I would like to ask, what is your view when it comes to Centralization of power as young people. I'm not sure I understand. What 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 he well, is... I put it in this context then. Seeing that we see in the world how we're developing right now as a global world, and we 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 see that the, the emphasis of how the global world is presiding in these small territories. And when we look at the small territories, we realize we see that we are not have anything to maintain in trading, but we are service providers. So we see these things they come into crap and it come to economics especially. And we realize in economics there's a lot of businesses that come from all over the world. And in these businesses they're only looking at profit and they're not here to stabilize the way 
that we're looking to develop our country. So these are challenging times, and in the challenging time, we realize that companies, especially these big major companies, they come in here and eat up our small developing companies. So are we really willing to see how we could safeguard our economical stability within our small companies against these bigger companies in challenging times? Okay. That is okay. what we about. <clears throat> Centralization of power because I, I went college, so let me let me put the point bonus towards you have the ten, young. You have, ten, you have ten more seconds, Rasayo. Well, I, I don't put it forward. Okay, it now you can I listen think. listen off here and give him a chance to respond, please. I guess do do we have an ex caller there? I guess when he spoke about centralization of power, what he meant was to take some of the power from church street and maybe establish some community councils so that the communities then can deal with the issues and then they converge now onto government headquarters. He wants the power to be throughout. Okay, Each yes. constituency may be having a council. Well, I spoke about some yeah, of that Yeah, you earlier. spoke about that. About the community council in, in right. Sandy Point, and that's something that we are, well, I'm very serious about uh, because I believe that the talent exists in Sandy Point, in our community, where we can create that environment, where we can see to our own affairs that way. Good evening. Welcome to The Point. Hello. Hello good night. Yeah, hi. hi. Good night. Good, good night. night. Hello. Good night. <coughs> My Hello. name is Elvin, Mr. Nittal. I just want to say good night to all the representatives of DLP. I just have one simple question from Mr. William. If you let said, what will we be doing with Pinky are pumped there. Cause I think we need back with peer. Cause we a town and we do need a peer. Thank you for that question. Thank you. Should I proceed to answer it? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Elvin, for that, that call and that question. I grew up in a time when there was a peer in Sandy Point, as a matter of fact, in Fig Tree. Sorry, as a matter of fact, that is where I learned to swim. And Sundays we would go down there with our families and picnics. And we'd utilize the pier, of course, in a more vibrant time. The pier acted as a cargo port where vessels trading between um, St. Kitts and the neighboring islands like Stacia, St. Martin, would up there. These were the things that made Sandy Point a very vibrant town as well. And so that we have, to the extent that we have lost that, my intention and my plan is to revitalize the Pompe area that lovely Blacks and Beach that we have there, and re-establish it as a main port of entry, and also as a main tourist destination by having additional businesses thrive along that avenue so that the locals in that um, community can own those businesses and feed their families. So the revitalization of Pompey is high on my agenda when I'm elected to Parliament. So you're saying you're going to get customs and immigrations, some departments, some sub-departments down there. I Look, am... we're not absolutely certain if down there is still a legal port of entry. Well, let me correct you on that. Then, <laughs> is it still? Right? It is absolutely still a legal, a legal, legal port, port of entry. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> the recently established facility where the police station is, yes. houses, yes. The customs, right? Yes. And immigration, yes. So that, that is there. We now need to put the pier facility and the cargo sheds, etc., to make it that um, official what the person's can yes, good, and good, trade. And good that vision. is part of my plan. Yes. Good, good vision. Could we take the clip for, is it Jacqueline now? Yeah, play the clip of Jacqueline's speech. Are we going to take that break to facilitate that? It's like I told you when I first started, friends, leadership matters. That is why I am proud to be a part of this team. So I look forward to continue the engagement I have started with you in constituency number one on the campaign trail. Please give me the opportunity to be your local champion. It would truly be an honor. And I urge all the people of constituency number one to join our campaign. So the choice for this election in constituency number one is clear. Vote for me, Jacqueline Bryan, the PLP candidate for a secure future in constituency number one. 
warriors from the east let's win this election and deliver a secure future in constituency number one and the entire federation so let them know that Jacqueline and Dissau is who we voting for now Jacqueline how is the response to your speech in your constituency and household well mr nita i had to pinch myself on sunday because the feedback was amazing i well, i have just been so humbled by the response from not just people in east bastier but people across the federation and nationals in the diaspora i i was i almost came to tears on sunday I, they made me feel so good and it was encouraging knowing that people were able to connect with what I said. And I'm hoping that given what happened on Saturday, the delivery, the message, that the people of East Bastyr know that I am genuine. And I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who made it their business to reach out to me. Because you don't know how much that has given me but it has uh, made the fire even hotter. You know that kind of way? So yes. it has been incredible. And I really, really, really have just been floored by the response. Excellent. Now, Kendall, how is your campaign going thus far? So far, so good. You know, I've been moving around for quite some time. Been moving to the different communities, you know, entire, the entire constituency. And I've been speaking to individuals and the feedback been good. You know, people are definitely buying into the concept of having someone, someone of their own to try and represent them and try to be there for them. So I would say I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of work, yes, but I wouldn't have it no other way. You know, moving around and moving to the different alleys, the different communities. It's, it's, it's one that it's memorable for me and I'm definitely enjoying moving around. I think the campaign, this cam the you, campaigning Jackson? experience yeah, has been uh, yeah. incredible. And good, good evening. Welcome to the point. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Good, evening. Good, night. good night. Yeah. Good evening, Mr. Nital. Good evening. And you three wonderful guests you have. Good, good evening. Good evening. Thank good evening. you. Good evening, culture. Right, Jacqueline. I know you, and you know me, yes. and I don't know the other two guys, but I, 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 I know them now by the speech, because you all are so impressive that there is no one else can have that word be said to them, impress. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, you remember I told you about two years ago, you're going to reach far when you started Leadership Matters. You should have told me how far, though. Right. <laughs> and you said, me, no. I said, yes, Jacqueline, you, you don't see what I see in you. So you continue. You're doing great. You sound like a professional. Now, my little advice to you all. Yes. Uh, look, I wish that you all were there before now. Because a lot of things that are left behind, they would have been completed. Many things, old road bay, the oil and main road, the lights down at Sandy Point, playing ground, and uh, the, 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 the pier down pump bay. Absolutely. And the high school, and whatsoever else again, yeah, they would have, they would have completed. And you all don't sound like you all would allow anybody to tie your all hands. No way. Because you know how you all sound, like how the Bible says. You are treasure. You are constituency. I can hear the passion that you all have in your heart for your constituency. And whatsoever a man treasures, there lies his heart. And once you, your heart is there, your constituency will get served what, what they like you are going. So I'm going to congratulate you all tonight. You all are doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Right. No more, no more young people doing any mock 
parliament. This is time now to get the real thing. And Dr. Harris has chosen the best out of the best. And we all are impressed with you all. Wonderful. Show sure shot straight to where we going with it. Candy point pig G. That's and right. Pepe. Everything is one. One family join on. That's right. And come to Old Road. Ah, boy, again. Historic city again, Bodo. Yes, <laughs> Impressive. Yes, yes. Ten more seconds, culture. And then Jacqueline? Yes, sir. Sorry. Eh? Ten more seconds. Jacqueline. Okay. You're leading from the East, Jacqueline. Wise men come from the East, also wise women come from the East. <laughs> <laughs> And while, while, while the why is Ben Thank you so East. much, culture. <laughs> okay, thanks much for your contribution. Do we have a next call? Okay, Dr. Wilkinson, our chief surgeon, medical chief of staff at the hospital. He said he's looking and he wants to congratulate all three of you. Oh, thank you. All thank, you. thank you, Dr. Wilkinson. Thank you, Dr. Wilkinson. Thank you. So you, we have a call. Good evening. Welcome to The Point. Hello. Okay, we'll have lost that one. We have a call. Good evening. Welcome to the point. Hello. Hey, can I go on the point? Yes, you are. Yes, good night. Good night. I can hear you. Hi. Yeah, good evening, everyone. This is out there. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. We can hear you. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Because I can tell you all clearly. Good. And I want to congratulate Dr. Timothy Harris on putting together this ticket. I want to congratulate him. The people of the Labour Party have came a long way since the departure of certain people who helped to create it. And it did not die when they disappear. And thank God that Dr. Harris, convention after convention, have built the party and at the same time been an important member in the community where at the same time everybody could see what we have done in terms of leading the country. Now, we never see this before in the history of thinking. We are eight young people put themselves up for public office. We have thousands of people here who older than them, who come before them, where the dentist lawyer and all kind of thing, and they run from this difficult decision here. Run from it. But nobody could tell these young people here that they can't handle what's ahead of them. They are capable, they have the ability, and they have the guidance from the Prime Minister and the people them around them. Plus, the supporters and the voters them who will make sure to make them parliamentarian. And we're going to be happy to support them because this is something we continue. We already try labor. We already try come. This is what we need to try right now. And we are proud of you all for making this decision. God bless you all. Have a good night. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank and you, you have a good Thank night you. as well. Have a good night also. Good evening. Welcome to Fair. Welcome to the point, sorry. Hello, good evening. Okay, we would have lost that one. Kendali, you, ha you have a question that you need to respond to that yes. Bucky might have asked. Bucky, you know, thank you for calling in and thank you for asking your question. You know, one of the major things that I've been you know, no noticing and observing when moving around our constituency is homes. You know, people have been crying for homes, for homes in our constituency. And as I said, I will be fighting for 100 new homes in our local communities once I am elected. And I am definitely committed to that. But that's one of the major things that I've been getting while moving from Challenger Street now to New Guinea. 
the people are crying for homes and I definitely will commit myself to providing these homes for the people of constituency number four. And we want to provide new homes, of course, jobs. Because 100 homes would definitely be more jobs, which would boost our economy in constituency number four. Excellent. Have you been meeting up any major challenges on the campaign trail? Major challenges. No, the people been welcoming mm, so far, so good. I had one mishaps with one individual, but the major challenges mm, that I've been receiving is, is concerns and queries from people. Even though they are very unhappy of the representative and the representation that they would have received over the last seven years. So that is why, I, again, I am here and I am stepping up to try to restore number four and represent the people of constituency number four. Okay, we have a message here from Madam Saunders. She said, Bonsoir. I assume it means good night. Bonsoir. 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 Good night. Bonsoir. Just want to tell your panelists how proud I am of them. Please remember once elected service for others before self, country above self. Right. Yes. Country. Madam Thank Saunders, you. We, um, all, we all know. We, we. Yes, we know. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. See, Thank you so much. Mademoiselle Saunders. <laughs> what about what about your campaign efforts, um, Jackie? How is it going? My campaign efforts are going very well. I am very happy with my team, and let me use this opportunity to thank all the members of my team, the constituency branch, the support groups, the volunteers. Thank you all. You've put in a lot of work, even when there was no candidate. And now that I'm here, they have embraced me with open arms, and I really appreciate that. They've been working very hard. And uh, I think the challenge for me is that I want to talk to everybody, Mr. Natal. I'm that person. I want to talk to every single individual because they need to understand that when I say I'm here for everybody, to represent everybody, I need to engage everybody. Mm. And uh, so the people who have been calling me, if you haven't gotten me, don't stress. I'm going to get back to you. You will hear from me because I am dedicated. I sit down. And I go through my phone, I return all my calls as much, as much as I can. I talk to as many people as I can on the street. If you haven't seen me yet, you definitely should be seeing me. And, the, and I accept the challenge that people have given me. That you once we, this election is over, the next time you see me will not be the next election. You will continue to see me. Okay, we are due a break now. Could you facilitate that for us, please? I went to school here. I teach here, and I choose to raise my family here. Me, a Doreen Leibold's son, could have screened the high school bar rooms. I come from humble beginnings too, like many of you in number four. I know, I know what it is like to struggle. It is that struggle, that journey, that brought me here tonight. So I pledge to you, my people, that I will take action for our home, for our community that raised me. I want to empower the little boys and little girls to manifest their dreams, just like I am doing here tonight. Because it is important for us to give Sandy Point the best chance to develop and to advance. Oh, yeah. Let us give Sandy Point and the people of Sandy Point the best chance to have a representative that work for you, that will show up to work, that will show up in cabinet and be working for the people every day. Let us give Sandy Point and Sandy Pointers and Fictory and La Valley the best chance to have a representative in government. Let us give Sandy Point that safe and secure future, the strong local economy and protection for our people with more jobs. I am saying to you, Sandy Point, let us give Sandy Point Stashio Williams! Hold that confidence in the orange, removing mountain to ensure poor people's progress. Yes, they got the promise. Welcome back to the point. Now, the question is what are some of the issues you are confronted with at the doorsteps? Yes, yeah, for me, I'll yes. start off. Right? It is, I'm saddened. Mm -hmm when I have to hear about the neglect, the widespread neglect across our constituency. The River Call? 
Det var Det var Carl. Så. Det er okay. Going? Mm-hmm. Yes. Sorry, I was saying, um, I'm saddened when I hear about the widespread neglect across the entire constituency. From the Crab Hill, Cleverly Hill, Fig Trilla Valley, Mount Tidal, Soho, no matter where I go, the cries are the same. And it, uh, it, this is exactly why I decided to come forward. Mm-hmm. This is exactly why the community have been calling upon me, because they recognize that I'm an action man. They recognize that I am someone who has compassion for them. And so the challenges that I'm seeing there are that people feel that there's no hope because they can now see that this is a man who can deliver for them. And so I plan to little, really be there for the people from the heart. I hear their cries, and I want to tell you, Sandy Point, Victory in the Valley, that I am here for you, and I will always be here for you. And we're going to win big together. Let's do it together. Those challenges are not insurmountable. Together, we can do it. Together, we can have that change. And that is my message. I have a question, just a little curious. Where is Soho? In Sandy Point, because okay. Sandy Point used to have a football team. Soho. And they used to go by Soho. 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 They used right. to play great football. Matter yeah. of fact, Sandy Point had the best goalkeeper we'd have ever had. The person, Rasta John. That's right. Remember that Rasta John? That's right. Island number one goalkeeper? That's correct. The best we would have ever had. And Sandy Point where has Soho? been producing many of the best. Very SP were the best people. Let me tell you where Soho is. So Soho is that little area just north of Mount Tidal. So on Mount Tidal, which is a very popular spot with the bees enterprises, right there. It is a fork in the road. Caesar, them up Caesar there, and bees, right? No, no. There is a road which runs um, perpendicular adjacent to this the school road, the Sandy Point, well, the Charles e. Mills Secondary School. If you go north towards the mountain, yes. when you get to Mount Tidal, right by the Roman Catholic Church, yes. if you just take that right, as you get up into that area there, that area is called Soho. Yeah, when you pass when the season them house. You that's correct. That area. that area is Jason, Soho. Jason the, that's right. And Jason Rogers, yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. And there's lots of young, enterprising young men who've all given me their support in Soho. Good. Yeah. Excellent. And I'm there for them as well. That is Soho. That is Soho. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline, what are the people telling you on the doorsteps? Well, unfortunately, Some are telling me that they feel that they haven't gotten the attention they think they deserve over the years. And this isn't something that they're just experiencing. And I find that unfortunate that there are some areas in the constituency that think that they haven't gotten their concerns addressed. And there are also some who really find themselves not very trusting of politicians. And so to speak with me as Jacqueline Bryan is one thing, but to speak speak with me as Jacqueline Bryan, a politician, (laughs) with something else. And that is a real challenge. I don't know what it's been like for Stashio and Kendale. That is a real challenge, trying to gain people's trust, to try you as a new candidate, say, give me that chance. Because I suppose they would have given others chances in yes, the past. Yes. And, and they have failed. Yes. And so now I have to work through and those trust, trust issues and try and trust. earn it. Yes. So one of the ways in which we're trying to do that is help people where we can, where we can right now, how we can to show that this is just to give you an idea of what we can do mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. we get into office. Uh, I think we've also had some very encouraging meet and greets, some encouraging conversations. And I I want to let people know that not everybody is looking to see what they can get. Mr. Nittel, I'm happy to report that we have gone to some houses. We have spoken to some people. Their first question to me is, what are your plans for the constituency? Absolutely, I get the question. Their first question, some of them, the only question is, why should I vote for you? What are your plans? 
And I get excited when they ask me that because that question is coming up just today. now. Too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Keep I want to talk help. to we you about. That. You know that's what I want to talk to you about. So I really want to let people know that not everybody is looking for handouts. And I don't believe in handouts. I believe in empowering people. I believe in giving people what they need to better themselves. And there are people who don't want that. There are people who are out there trying to make a legitimate dollar and they just need some encouragement and some support. And that's what we're here for. That's what we're here to encourage and help people with. And I also want to say that you don't have to go to university, Mr. Nita. We all know this by now. You don't have to go to university to be successful in life. And we have a lot of that kind of potential in East Bastyr. The, the young people in East Bastyr have some amazing ideas, brilliant ideas. But we have people like Stashio on the team who can, I can go and Absolutely. have a huddle with but and Jackie, talk about Jackie, how we can help develop our entrepreneurs. I have not been to university either. So this is the closest example I can get. Absolutely. My wide pick success. Yeah. So you're correct. Okay. So there are you're different correct. avenues to get success. I don't want us to think that there's only one. Mm -hmm. I don't want us to think that if you didn't go to university or college correct. that you can only be a, a particular, end up with a particular life or anything like that. No. And I think Talbo is another success story. That's right. We have success stories across the the team. That's one of the things I like about the team. You can look at everybody and see how they've done well in their own different areas. So the team is not only diverse, but it presents different realities to our young people as to how they can become successful in life. And I want to help all those persons in East Bastia with all those brilliant and interesting ideas help to realize their dreams and goals. Are you saying that, that you are hearing from persons uh -huh. that they were either surgically discriminated against or completely forgotten about? And I'll tell you why. Newtown, is, <laughs> Newtown football team is the only football team that would have won the championship four years in a row. People used to fight to sponsor Newtown They didn't football. think it was possible and we did it. People used to fight to sponsor Newtown football team. Mm -hmm. Now Newtown football team is without a sponsor. Is without a coach. Hmm. You understand? Newtown did not make it into the last six, last six. this year. Correct. So there is some degree of neglect. But we don't want to be pushing and blaming each other. Yeah, we need to come together and salvage what is left of that raw material we have in the Sunrise constituency <laughs> and see if we can rebuild the propagation steps, get a catalyst in between there, and we shall sublime, <laughs> we shall sublime one. And that's, that's one of the reasons why I refer to East Bastia as the home of champions. Because when you look at our sporting history, it's not just football. But netball, even cricket, we have a very rich sporting history. And I think we can try to, we can get back to that point and restore the pride that we had in that area. Newton, East Bastia is the home of champions and will continue to be the home of champions. And queens and kings. We have about five, six, seven, eight national queens up there. David Frank was the best individual athlete that Singis Davis would have ever seen. Sasha might not want to hear that, but if he goes on, he'll be surprised <laughs> with the same thing resonating in Sandy Point. Dave, I'm David Frank. You know, we're SP the best there, so let's, let's, but we're not, good. Are, not all the best them no. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, we, we, we have to come to this. We have to converge on this now. Kendale, why people must vote for Kendale Library? I want to hear the passion. Yes. I don't want to have passive response. Let me close on my computer. Get on bad. Mm -hmm. Let me reduce good, the good, center yeah. of gravity. <laughs> when you start to get on, it doesn't shake yes, off. Yes, yes, yes. Well, one, i like to sum it up like this. The people in number four are dissatisfied, unhappy of the representation that they would have been receiving over the last years. And Kendall Leibold is here. He's hard working and there is no other choice in this coming election. I am dedicated and I am the local champion for constituency number four. And I will be their champion and I will work with the Prime Minister Timothy Harris and our dream team, my brothers and sisters, Absolutely. to restore number four, to restore the hope of the people of constituency number four. Another five years with anyone else, we would have to be doing the same thing. We would have to be feeling the same cries, the same unhappiness, the same disappointment. So Kendale is here to make sure that the people of number four does not have to witness or live this type of life. 
Wongon. Wongon. Son said, of the soil. Wongon. Native ideal. of our land. And I will wish to a number four once they give me the chance. I, I did some research the other day and I came about some guys teaching mm -hmm. people self-defense mm -hmm. and how to untie your hands. Mm -hmm. I recommend that episode to you. Good. But whenever you see as if your hands are tied, mm -hmm. you employ that technique and have and it untied and do the work that the people sent you yes. to. Yes. Miss Brian, why people from Sunrise constituency must vote for Jacqueline Bryan? Because they deserve to be represented at the highest level by someone they can look at and say, that's my representative mm -hmm. and she makes me proud. I'm here to address their concerns. And we're talking about looking at several issues in East Bastia. For example, healthcare needs. I, persons have already heard me talk about looking from our babies right up to our seniors mm -hmm. and everybody in between. We have uh, plans to enhance the health services offered in East Bastia. We know that the Ministry of Health is doing a lot, but that doesn't mean at a local level we can't assist where we can. We have plans to establish support groups for mothers who have just gotten babies. I, I'm a strong believer in breastfeeding and I'm, I'm an advocate for that. And we want to help mothers where we can in that regard. We want to establish a care center, look into establishing a care center for seniors. So when they, their loved ones go off to work during the daytime, they can drop them off. They're properly cared for and taken care of and their loved ones pick them up in the afternoon. We are looking into housing solutions in East Bastia. We know that's a very big issue. And so we're saying, okay, we may not have government lands available to distribute like some of the other constituencies, but surely there must be a way to address the housing solution. We just need to be creative. And we are hoping to find solutions to the housing issue because people need homes and people need better homes. We want to look at infrastructure. How can we have better roads? How can we ensure that everyone has access to water and a steady and reliable electricity supply? Um, we know that the electricity company is very reliable, but well, the Prime Minister has said that these connections have come to an end, but, and we want to ensure that people are able to enjoy the utilities yes, as much as possible. Correct. Uh, because they're very important yeah, to the standard yeah, of yes, living. Yes. We want to continue developing the area mm -hmm. in sports. I'm committed to that and looking into upgrading our sporting facilities and trying to maintain that we remain the home of champions in all spheres. We want to also look into the beautification of East Bastia. You must come into East Bastia and the surroundings must make you feel like you're in East Bastia. So when you enter East Bastia, you must not only you must not only see it, but you must feel it. So I'm hoping to look into a beautification initiative for the area. Education, like I told you, is very big for me. We know we have some young people. When they get homework, they may not have the printer to print the assignment, the computer, the internet to do the research or the money to buy the resources they need. Their parents may not even have the time to spend with them. I know some mothers who are working two, two jobs. jobs, so they may not have the time to sit down and go through the schoolwork with their children. And we're saying, we see you, we want to support you. I'm a mother myself. Uh, Akila Bar the Honorable Akila Byron Nisbet is a mother. We are both mothers. We understand that children need that kind of support. And if we're a community, and the parents can't do it, then others in the community must also help to raise that child. We think we can go back there. And so in addition to the reading program, I'm hoping to introduce a homework assistance program to not only help you with your homework, but see to it that by the time you leave, your homework is ready to be handed in the very next day. Printed, stapled, packaged. And I think that that's the kind of support... We, our families need real support. Yes, they need exactly. real solid support. They're suffering that. from real issues, Mr. Natal. Yes, and these are everyday issues. Some people may not be aware of it. Some of us have been blessed with better circumstances. Mm -hmm. But I remember when we didn't have a printer. Correct. You understand? <laughs> you had to write that out in your hand. But teachers yes. are, some teachers are demanding it in a way you know, that some students can't provide. And yes. I have had to print 
mm-hmm. pictures for students and assignments for students, and I understand that they might not have it like that. I'm looking to further developing the Frigate Bay area as best as we mm-hmm. can and the golf course. We have to pay attention to those areas. We know that we are a hub when it comes to tourism, and we have to ensure we continue to develop our tourism uh, industry. Uh, I'm Frigate Bay, the Frigate Bay area, I'm told, doesn't enjoy certain services like garbage disposal mm-hmm. or they don't have their mail delivered. And we oh. have to see how we can yes, also yes. make it easier <laughs> for the people who live over there, you know, good, their good. taxpayers as well. Good. So the, the plan is vast, Mr. Nita, and it seeks to help as many as we can in some way. I also I feel that like people should age gracefully and with dignity. Absolutely. You have a home for the elderly, Sandy Point. You have one up the village, you have right. um, Sadler's area, mm-hmm. and I think that it is high time that the people of East Bastille get a quality home for the elderly so people can age gracefully and with dignity. It must not be a dumping ground where family just put you off and they never return. The only man's have phone call, they change their numbers. We want to establish that. People would have done their due worth for Federation building, mm-hmm. and we must honor and respect them. Yes. Yeah, we have five more seconds. No, Sashio. Yes, I'm happy that you have you've turned your attention to me <laughs> because I have great plans. And Three minutes for yes. the people of constituency number five. Right. Earlier, I spoke extensively about the business initiatives, which is a passion of mine that I want to implement in, in Sandy Point. Right. But a vote for Stachio Williams will not only see our great town returned to its glory days of that bustling economic hub, but it would see a lot more entrepreneurs. It would see us establishing government services where persons can pay their bills and access certain services like the Inland Revenue Department, for example, in Sandy Point itself. So we're adding more services so that persons in the neighboring communities can have those, a vote for Sandy, for Stachio, is a vote for Sandy Point, in fact, and the people, because the infrastructure improvements that we will implement would see us, for example, constructing a bypass road. There's been much talk about a by- bypass road which connects Brimstone Hill to a farm site, so that persons can, I know in your constituency, Kendale, you have issues and challenges and so on, for example, right? I will construct a bypass road that connects we have beautification and enhancement projects spanning from Cleverly Hill right down to Crab Hill and Fictionella Valley along the main road so that when persons traverse those main ways, we look like a real town. Mm-hmm. Right? And so that is one of the things that I'll be doing. We're talking about constructing uh, roads in La Valley. There's neglect, widespread neglect in that particular area. <coughs> the persons have to walk dirt, dirt roads. It's like they shower before they leave home to go to work, and by the time they get down the road to take a bus, they have to shower again mm. because the roads are terrible. So we'll be building those roads as a matter of high priority. All right? I want to talk about how we would reestablish the valley and a golf course project and establishing uh, a world-class resort in that area. Again, increasing the real estate of the people who live in that area. When it comes to protection of our people, We'd want to ensure that we carry out an urgent review of the Poxon Medical Facility. Two Poxon, minutes, two minutes. Two minutes. Poxon was once a hospital. We have a new facility, but it actually does less. An urgent review is going to be carried out to ensure that we can bolster that facility with the wards. I was born there in Poxon Hospital, and many Sandy Pointers are proud for that because in our passports, have we're born in Sandy Point. We love that, right? And so I want to... Do that again. I want to prioritize grassroots sports programs and return the leagues on Sunday afternoons. Families like to come out and support the football teams, for example. Great cricket teams. Sandy Point had cricket teams, Scrabble versus the Alley and the various regions. Just spoke about Soho, for example. So prioritizing those grassroots sports is something that we'll be doing as well. I talked about earlier establishing um, the agriculture and supporting our farmers. The public market has been closed for some time. We support our farmers. I will be putting programs in place to ensure that our farmers have the requisite irrigation systems that can support 
the, their produce on their farms. I also want to talk about that the pursuit of a zero poverty agenda. I spoke about it before. I will be fighting for that. And when I say that, I'm talking about ensuring that every person, every household in Sandy Point has the basic things they need. They could access education. They can eat well. They can age well. We already have elderly facilities, as you mentioned. But we want to ensure that every household could have the amenities inside running water, those type of things as well. Yeah? And so it's really about creating more jobs and opportunities for young persons and giving them that representation, giving Sandy Point, Stashio Williams, the representative that they deserve and they've been longing for. And that, I, I have always liked life to the playing of an orchestra yes. where the boys who are soon enough comes for us, followed closely by the sweetly blended harmonious music. Absolutely. And already I'm feeling the rhythm of that melodious music. Congratulations to all of you, you and I wish you well Thank you. in your quest for success at the polls. And don't forget to come on out tomorrow, 6 p.m., yes. to witness my constituency office launch. And I will be there. Green Tree And Jackie will be there. Yes. The and we all will be there. Yes. I'll be there, be there. twice. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for having us. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Little. It's been a pleasure.